chai. <laughs> what do you call me, an HF junkie? The holocrypt is SX-17. <laughs> ah, well, listen, I've got, to, I've got to give you guys somebody to talk to me, you know? 20 meters. After some extensive, uh... Okay, I know what it's sell to Donna. Recapping. And, uh, 35 over. Just for And, uh, just using a, uh, <laughs> small jumper here. For an antenna. Uh, seven Yankee Mike. 20 meters. And adjust the pitch control. 1939 receiver. A little bit of drift. But as you can see, it's working quite well. I have the cover off the cap, uh, the main tuning cap right now. I'm going to be doing an IF and RF alignment. Well, I don't want to do anything or wear them at all. I think you can keep going. Uh, it's been about 40 degrees here today. And uh, although it's to be cooler tomorrow, granted. But the weather for here has been just wonderful for weeks. And uh, the slight change tomorrow, but uh, I can live with that. So. I don't like the cold, I don't like the storm, and I know I'm not going to go back to Scotland on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be like uh, walking from a, an oven into a refrigerator. I think it's going to be pretty cold when I get back, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Anyway, nice to hear you, Hank. Thanks for the call from Montana, and a great signal to boot. Have a nice afternoon. I think that's Scotland in there. I'm uh, copying him with the BFO on. It's a little touchy, but what do you want for a 1939 receiver? But it's working beautifully. Thank you very much, and, I, and uh, hopefully I'll catch up with you before I go back to Scotland on Saturday evening. So uh, if you hear me, give me a call. And, uh, I can understand it, you know, it can get too warm for you, but it can be too warm for me sometimes, but I'd rather be warm. <laughs> That's with the BFO off, you just hear what they call the monkey chatter stuff. But um, you can see uh, the amount of uh, recap done with uh, my friend Kurt, who's my solder buddy, because uh, my hand shakes too much to get in here and do this. There's some caps in there that I think are just impossible to replace. They're deep, deep inside uh, the mechanism here, the band switch and all the coils. But we're going to try it again. And uh, do a bit of work and then be back down here in a few weeks' time again, Jim. So it's uh, the same old, same old. <laughs> uh, I'll lead a pretty boring life, Jim, actually. Right? Anyway, that's the uh, status right now of the uh, SX-17. And this is K2WH.